Lawrence, hit of the shot for goal. Another player who was playing against his opposition, former teammates today, Nick Hine. To full forward, not the best place. Kick! Play on is the call. Snelling was able to dig in. Stringers looked very lively early. Cox has had a fling, and he's put it through. Oh, what a start for the Bombers. He was one real bright light last week, I mm. thought. Anthony McDonald tipping Woody. Some of his crumbing was just incredible, the way he hit that. Oh, oh, dangerous kick in. They were sweating on it. And Hooker hits the spot this time. They just need a little bit of composure, St Kilda. That last one from King. He needed to take his time. Memory is the focus. At the back, Billings can kick another. So the Saints third, kicked by Jack Billings. Ham deals out the handball to Hine. They're being forced back here, but they've got reinforcements. And through the middle, Francis spotted Paris. The spread's on again for the Bombers. Saints try to push back hard this time. The gift to Redmond. He's almost within range. He is now. Oh, what a start for Essendon. Mason Redmond joins the list of goal kickers. 6 4 40 to 3 3 21. They're running rings around them, literally the bombers. Hind, what a pass! The searing one for Harry Jones. Directly in front for his first goal in AFL footy. He's had a few false starts, but he'll never forget that! It's just that sort of day for Essendon. 26 goals in 10 matches in the Waffle last year. It was a midfielder, is it? Under 18, Plyatt sets this up, and there's bomber hands everywhere. Hooker has caught another one, and he'll line up for his third. He has 2-2, two -two, so his fifth shot before halftime. His third goal, and the Bombers aren't stopping yet. They lead by 44 points, can you believe? And we're not even at the main break yet. They are swarming, and the pass is on again. Hooker can't take the mark, but he hasn't given up. Kept on coming. Hind again with a soft touch into the 50. Not for Smith, but Anthony McDonald. Tim and Woody! Oh, they're on in the footy here, the Bomber fans. They're going in from everywhere. Change rooms to be assessed, and he looks like he's out of the game. Tom Cutler will be warming up as the sub. Yeah, Cutler been the sub every week. Got 27% game time last week. They get another opportunity inside 50. The Deliv delivery from Smith to Alec Waterman was perfect. And he had about five players rushing over, all pointing, saying, take the shot for goal. Go back and kick it. They get off to a good start here. They can put some killer to the sword. His second go at AFL footy couldn't make it as uh, a youngster with the West Coast Eagles. But Alec Waterman, oh, wow. he wants to make every post a winner for the Bombers. He's a massive kick of the football. And now we all know that. What a day they're having. The Bomber fans don't like too much. Wobbly pass back to Coffield. He's trying to stave off the effort of Smith, which he does successfully. And then Jones. Hits the target inside 50, and it's Brad Crouch. The new colours. And at least he can say he's kicked a goal. Maybe that can be a bit of a turning point. Can they gather the troops around and put together a better effort from here? Ham, not paid. McGrath realised the situation and summed it up perfectly. And they are jumping for joy, the Bombers fans. Jones and Coffey, Smith's hands were beautifully read by Jones of St Kilda and then Billings is able to shovel it onto the chest of Loney. And an opportunity to score a rare goal is taken by Jack Steele. He has led as best he can today. Again to Ham. Cutler had to stop and prop a little. McDonald tipping Woody. The scraps are there at the top of the square. Jones. Crowded out quickly, Waterman 
Realised he had to handball it. Smith said, thanks very much, I'll kick another. Oh, he set that up high. Mm. It was a little uncomfortable for Ham. Oh, but Cox is going to get it from just outside 50. And Ham can run in. Hooker. Let's see how nimble he can be. He gives it to Devin Smith. And it's a bit embarrassing at the moment for the Saints. As Snelling finishes off the relay. Saints need to dig in, but they can't get their hands on the Sharon. McGrath. Hooker's coming out again. He's covered in the air. It bounces the way of Jones. This is extraordinary now. 78 points. Back for Merritt. He can kickstart another move forward. This time the fullback reacted a bit quicker, but it fell for the Bombers as it has all day. And McDonald Tip and Woody can feast a little more. He's kicked his third. Ross just nudges it forward. Loney throwing himself at everything in his last quarter. Kept it moving. Awkward, but beautifully judged. With Everything closing in on him. He's done well to hang on to the mark there. Two goals straight, his return. And around he goes. And he's hit it pretty well. Couple of late ones for the Saints. Into the pocket, here's Membry. And one more over the top. Ross, watch out! That just about sums it up. Running hard to the end and listen to those Bomber fans. An incredible performance. A glimpse into the future and a great response for the Bombers. Wow! Says Darcy Parrish, who led the way from the start.